Hi, in this first video we'll explore some common tasks in modern computer vision. This is to give us an overview of the field. We'll look at a non-exhaustive but representative list of computer vision techniques applied to solve real-world problems. Our learning goals are to understand what computer vision is and to differentiate between discriminative and generative tasks in computer vision. Let's start by defining computer vision. Computer vision gives machines the ability to understand the content of digital images through algorithms and training data. Computer vision is one of the most active fields in artificial intelligence and has found many applications in science and industry, which we will explore throughout this course. While humans perceive images as meaningful scenes composed of objects, colors, and textures, computers only perceive digital images as arrays of pixel values. Unlike us, computers do not interact with the world as embodied beings that strive to survive. So a photo of a suburban home, like the one that we see here, is simply a stack of pixels for a computer. The central challenge in computer vision is to assign meaning to these stacks of pixels, enabling machines to interpret images more like humans do. So, a brief definition of computer vision that I particularly like is giving computers the ability to understand the content of digital images. We do this using a variety of algorithms. In this illustration, we see the architecture of a convolutional neural network, which is a very powerful algorithm for assigning semantics to digital images. A convolutional network learns to extract important features of an image, such as its edges or textures, in order to minimize a measure of error on its task, which in this case is classification. Here the task of the network is saying whether the input image is a car, a truck, a van, a bicycle, or any other class that we have in our label training data. In the last two decades, the techniques of deep learning have become dominant in computer vision, and convolutional networks are one of the most successful deep learning architectures. We'll study and implement this family of algorithms in a lot of detail in our course. We'll begin by exploring the three fundamental discriminative tasks in modern computer vision. Classification, object detection and segmentation. Discriminative models in computer vision are supervised machine learning models that assign classes or scores to images based on a labeled training set. They do this in a way that is either localized or global. Classification models assign global labels to entire images. For example, an image might be labeled as containing a person, sheep or dog without specifying where these objects are located in the image. In contrast, object detection models assign labels within bounding boxes, enabling us to localize the presence of objects in the image. These bounding boxes allow us to understand the relative position of objects and count them. Segmentation models provide the finest level of detail by creating masks that precisely separate objects from their background. These masks enable accurate quantification and image manipulation, such as background removal in photo editing software, or estimation of the precise coordinates that a robot arm or a self-driving car need to consider to know when would they collide with an object. Since these methods rely on supervised learning, it is important to understand the data labeling requirements. At some point, a person or a specialized algorithm must produce these labels. Image classification tasks need only text labels. Object detection tasks require bounding boxes, and segmentation tasks depend on masks that accurately delineate objects from their surroundings. Of this, segmentation labeling is the most time-consuming and expensive task, as it demands detailed pixel-level annotations.
Among computer vision practitioners, the quality of label data is often considered more important than model architecture, as well-curated training datasets can dramatically improve model performance. We'll examine example use cases for disc discriminative tasks, and we will explore how we can use models to help us curate datasets. In recent years, we have seen important innovations in generative computer vision. Traditionally, computer vision focused on discriminative tasks, teaching machines to identify objects and scenes in existing images, similar to how we teach children by pointing and naming things. In contrast, generative computer vision creates entirely new images from scratch, using prompts, which are reference text descriptions or images much like prompting an artist to paint by showing him examples. Models like DALI and Stable Diffusion learn through supervised training on millions of image text pairs, along with specialized generation techniques like denoising diffusion. When given a prompt like create an image of an astronaut riding a horse in pencil drawing style, these models generate new images by gradually refining random noise into coherent images that match the description. They do this using the learned understanding of visual and textual concepts and their relationships. Generative computer vision works by learning the conditional probability distributions that make images look realistic and coherent. These models learn the statistical patterns of how the visual world fits together. For example, that faces have features like eyes, nose, and mouth, and the characteristic patterns of cities in aerial views. Once a model has learned these probability distributions, it can sample from them to create new coherent images. Websites like thispersondoesnotexist.com demonstrate this model's ability to generate photorealistic images of entities that are not real. A powerful and recent trend is using realistic synthetic images produced with generative methods to extend training datasets for discriminative tasks. Here we have an example. Brain tumor segmentation is a critical step in radiosurgical planning as it delineates the target for irradiation. The clinical goal is to destroy as much of a tumor as possible with radiation while sparing the healthy tissue. Recent publications showcase how techniques like generative adversarial networks can augment training datasets for segmentation with realistic, well-labeled synthetic images. This augmented dataset enables ensembles of discriminative models to achieve top accuracy in the evaluation of real clinical data from the BRADS Brain Tumor Segmentation Challenge of 2023. In these examples, the labeled tumors on the images are synthetic and were simulated on images of healthy parts of the brain. The labels were generated alongside the tumor images on multiple magnetic resonance imaging modalities. These synthetic images and labels were later used as part of a training data for discriminative models. So, to wrap up this first video, Computer vision is about enabling machines to interpret visual data. We discuss two main categories for computer vision tasks, discriminative tasks, where we assign scores or labels to images, and generative tasks, where we create images from prompts, which can be text or other images. We'll explore the